Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Real Talk Podcast. Uh, I'm your host for today's episode, Braden Becker, and today I'm joined by... Ben Kincaid. Braden Walser. And Luke Malby. All right, so uh, today we're going to be uh, doing our review on Knives Out, which we went to see over the weekend. We finally saw a movie. Not me. All of us except for Luke. That's an L. I'm seeing it tonight, so... Luke had a play. I'll be able to listen to the podcast I'll actually listen to the podcast this time. Because yeah. <laughs> you're yeah. editing, because I'm going to be in North Carolina. Yeah. How was the play, by the way? Did it, did it go well? Uh, yeah, it went well. The story was kind of awful. Oh, really? <laughs> Dang, I thought you were going to say off, and then it just kind of went full. Off. <laughs> and full. I was like, oh, yeah. um, what's it about? Like, what was um, it it's about like the production of a play, and then this oh, one girl. Oh, so it's girl, meta. Yeah. It's bad Yikes. better, though. It's, oh. it's theater. You, you know, theater kids Theater kids are the most annoying people you meet, you'll meet in your life. <laughs> Why is that actually accurate? They're the, one, they're the ones that say period T underneath the BTS tweets. <laughs> <laughs> luckily, luckily, all the kids in my theater class, like my theater program at my school, are all pretty cool because our school isn't big into, like, theater. So, yeah, uh, TJ, <laughs> not gonna. <laughs> yeah, we've got the like theater version of CTC at yeah, TJ. Yeah, Because we always have to the, go drop the kids off. The AFA. The R- yeah. yeah, with the ROTC kids. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's weird. You've got the two opposite ends of the spectrum. You've got the ROTC hard asses and the AFA theater kids. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. like all in like the same building. Yeah, That's yeah. Funny. And we drop them all off at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, we I got dropped off here at CTC before the AFA, oh. and then yeah, we, we pick them up. When we go we back. have to go there first, and then we pick them up too. Hmm. It's a big L because it makes we have to go like we go the opposite direction that we should go to go uh, drop them off. Mm. It mm-hmm. makes us take longer. How long does the bus ride take to get here? For me, for you, it's, I mean, I usually watch something on the bus, but including going to TJ, it's usually thirty-five. I want to say because we really? leave, we leave it oh, we leave wow. at twenty-two. So okay, probably wow. probably closer to thirty. We leave at twenty two. We're usually here between fifty and fifty five. <laughs> we yeah. leave at thirty and we get here at, a, at like seven fifty five, eight o'clock. So yeah, ours is like, like twenty twenty five minutes. It's a fifteen minute drive for me at the max. Yeah, because hmm. I'm at Frederick, obviously. Yeah, you're way closer. But All yeah. right, so do we want to get into recommendations of the week? Yeah, we finally went and saw a movie today, so it's yeah. not just gonna be it's random just gonna be blabbering on and yeah. just talking about whatever. We, yeah. We actually saw a movie and it was really good. So it was. we're gonna. I loved it. Get okay. into. Uh, I saw it twice. It was so good. I went and saw it back to back nights. You know? Yeah, you went to yeah. see it because uh, I, I didn't get right? to go. Yeah. Friday, so I had to go Saturday, and then he just went with me again. Yeah. So, um. So yeah, we're gonna you let's hop start? into recommendations. Okay. Uh, my recommendation for this week is the movie Gladiator. I don't know if you guys have seen it or not, it's a pretty old movie. Um. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? But uh, <laughs> I don't know if I've seen it. It's Netflix. it's really it's oh, so you good. Have to see it, it's a classic. Uh, it, is it's, it on Netflix? No, I don't no. think so. Walking okay. Phoenix is in it. He's Julius Caesar, and ba- basically huh. it follows this uh, um, this like lieutenant in like one of the armies, and this is like medieval times, with, like gladiators and knights and stuff like that, and so he's one of the lieutenants in like the army. And then he gets, like, framed for a murder, and so so he gets framed for a murder. They take him off to kill him. Basically, he escapes and then goes on tr- trying to get revenge on these people who also killed his family. Oh, wow. Um, mm-hmm. And it's, it's really cool. Those, like, their fight scenes are amazing. I love their fight scenes. <laughs> and so, basically, he goes into, like, um, he becomes, like, a slave, and then... Uh, and just he hides his identity because he was just working his way up to get back oh, to Julius Caesar to yeah. kill him. I think I've seen bits and pieces of this. But, uh, yeah. Has um, this been on Corridor before? Because I feel like I remember this being on Corridor. Like a maybe? Good, uh, like I, a good I fight think. scene. I feel like I've seen a fight scene where Corridor like broke down the VFX. They, I, think, I think they did. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's really good. The fight scenes are amazing. The story is amazing. Like, the ending of it is just it's crazy. It's so good. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. If I can find it somewhere, I've got a long car ride pretty much as soon as I leave CTC, so I'll try and watch it. All right. Oh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, so that's 
Recom- that's my recommendation. It's a really good movie. Definitely encourage everyone to go see it. And it's usually playing on TV, like because yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty old. I think I think it came out. I think it came right out now. like two thousand nine, maybe give or take. I've se- I'm trying to think of what channels I've seen it on. I think it's been on like Fox. Yeah. Or like one of some of those like movie channels. And Brain like HBO and Fox. Yeah. I own know, it. Definitely. Like I have the CD. If if you like, yeah. I can give it, it to you. Is it Blu-ray? Yes, I think probably. If not, because I can only Blu-ray play Blu-ray well. on my Xbox. Otherwise, it letterboxes the entire thing, and it's oh. so disgusting. <laughs> oh. I hate it because we have like every dang. It's not on it's... Xfinity on demand because w- literally all of our discs aren't Blu-ray except for like the Lego Movie and Avengers: Infinity War. Everything else is regular disc. So like, I tried to watch Batman Begins like two weeks ago, and I've got like. It's it's letterboxed all the way around instead of just the mm. top and bottom like cinema bars and it's so yucky and I it's really so yucky, dislike yucky. it. That sucks. It really sucks. Is is it just me or are there like there's like an entire category for like dad movies and that's what Gladiator kind of falls under like dad the movies. movie that just dads always watch like over and over like Gladiator Braveheart the Patriot. Braveheart's really good. My though. dad watches Braveheart Saving Private Ryan. I love Ryan. Braveheart. Braveheart is my favorite movie of all time. That's a really I like that one a lot. But it, it's 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 a dad. I don't know what it is about Mel Gibson, but he makes a lot of dad <laughs> movies. Yeah, wasn't yeah. he in Daddy's Home? He, he <laughs> was, I think he actually was. Okay. With like no, Will I know Ferrell. I know he was because okay. we were, we had that on the TV the other night because Chase and Griffin were watching. Yeah, Chase and Griffin are my little brother. Mel Doesn't Gibson's that have a like, lot better than Daddy's Home too? Trust me. I'm sh- I'm sure. I mean, Although it's not hard. Some... He w- he was pretty fun. There were some things in that movie that were that. Mostly yeah. him were pretty funny. Wasn't like Mark just his Wahlberg like dry humor. Yeah, that's Mark and Wahlberg and Will Ferrell. Will Ferrell. Okay, that's what I thought. He, yeah. he was actually pretty funny yeah, in that movie. But, like he is like dry humor, but I'm sure he can. But do so better than that. the thing I mean, is, Mel Gibson, he stopped making movies for a long time because he got caught up in this scandal where he mm-hmm. said some naughty things to his wife. Oh yeah, I know about that. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. but but so my dad, my dad loves Mel Gibson, so he's always watching these documentaries on. Uh, what went on, and apparently Mel Gibson was kind of baited by his wife. That doesn't give him the right to say it, but yeah. But anyway, um, Mel Gibson, he's making a comeback. Like, um, what was the, it was a really good, Hacksaw Ridge. Yeah, that's what it yeah is. he directed oh, that. Oh, yeah, yeah. He directed that. Yeah. Um, was Hacksaw Ridge the, the medic one? That's yes. with that uh, Andrew, Garfield. Andrew Garfield. Yeah. 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 That, like, one, that, that one was so really, good. Really, really so good. good. Yeah. I haven't seen it, but I've heard from pretty oh, much everybody I know that's seen it that it's really you, good. You should watch that. Really th- you'd yeah. like it. You'd like I need, it, I, I think. need to make a list of movies that people recommend to me because somebody will tell me to watch something, and then I'll forget it like the day, the next day. One mm-hmm. I want to see is uh, Dunkirk. That came out a while ago. I haven't I seen that. I haven't really seen Dunkirk yet. I haven't seen yet. that either. Yeah. Wait. You guys haven't seen Dunkirk? No. No, I okay, haven't seen I that one. That's Christopher Nolan, right? That's Christopher Nolan. It's so good. It was one I really wanted to see, but I just never did. Yeah. I think, that, that's kind I of think you three should watch it, and we should review it on an episode that we don't have. Oh. I'm down. Hmm. That's not a bad idea. That will be really nice. I have the Blu-ray of it if you need me to bring oh, it in. Oh, yeah. You guys oh, word. It. Yeah. I uh, would not be against that. And then are we going to go see... um? That new war movie that's coming out, whatever. Uh, Midway? Midway, yeah. It's been out for a little while. I wouldn't be against going to see it, but I would Did, Didn't one of us already see it? I already saw it. You it already got, saw it. Was it good? I've heard it got, like, it was, it was, I heard from most people that it was an average movie. Like, it, it was it yeah. was good. It was entertaining. It was, it was pretty good. The thing that made it really worth watching for me was the fact that I was seeing it with my great-grandpa, who was a veteran of World War II. Oh, yeah. yeah. And Dang. Yeah, also, the way that they portray certain things and certain people i don't want to spoil anything they do it actually kind of cool like right. i don't know i don't know how to say it without spoiling it mm-hmm. i mean is it like a huge spoiler like plot point or um, is it just like a person no it's how they it's how they portray oh. the different sides of the war mm-hmm. oh okay yeah isn't nick jonas in that uh yeah yeah, yeah that's what i thought yeah, he's kind of branching pilots. out more recently yeah. wasn't he in uh in Jumanji with yeah Johnson. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah he was he was like the fighter pilot right mm-hmm. yeah, he, he was he was the kid stuck that got there, stuck right? in oh, there for right, like that's right. yeah, and yeah. then he found a Robin Williams character's hut in yeah, like yeah, the yeah. game yeah all I remember is him having like a jacket with fur on it mm-hmm. like that one Fortnite skin and they needed him to like get past like the yeah, c- yeah. a certain level uh-huh. in the because they the had game. like the helicopter oh yeah yeah, yeah and yeah. he's the pilot so they had to find one of those coming out in December yeah oh yeah Jumanji the next level is like 
look bad. To be it's honest. like the parents. It's got get Danny stuck DeVito in, in it. It's a yeah. couple of it's Danny a couple DeVito of boomers so get funny. stuck in. I think the it's Rock gonna be good. And Kevin Hart. I it's think that's gonna like be really fun. Danny DeVito and uh, who's the other one? It um, might not be like an A-lister. I don't remember. I think Danny DeVito's. I know Danny DeVito's one of them. I know because he, he turns into the Rock. I'm pretty sure. Mm-hmm. Whatever. Yeah, I think so. All right, so yeah, so your oh shit. My recommendation for this week. I'm just waiting to make sure there's no like weird dings because sometimes we get. Those. Okay, I'm good. <coughs> oh, mm-hmm. that was fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, so my recommendation for this week is uh, the movie Baby Driver. Oh, um, mm, yeah, it, great dude, movie. It's so good. I, I watched it the other night because I was looking for something to watch. I've seen it like three times before. But it, it's the kind of movie that you can keep rewatching, and it's still entertaining. Oh, it's yeah. It's still funny. The, the the car scenes are so cool. Like they're you can tell mm-hmm. they're actually doing these car stunts. Yeah. Like when he like when he backwards drifts around that truck in yeah. the alley. Yeah. I was just I was going to talk about so that because Corridor <laughs> Corridor talked about yeah, that. Yeah. And they were saying uh that was all like manual. Like that mm-hmm. the driver did that himself. I yeah. mean, obviously yeah. they put like water on the ground to make it mm-hmm. like slicker and easier to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But for the most part, a lot of those, the car stunts in that movie mm-hmm were all like done Actually by hand done, like yeah. it wasn't uh, special and effects just, or anything it's it's very creative because they have they have a reasoning for like they have a very interesting soundtrack like oh it's, yeah the, I dude, mean, it's it, their like, soundtrack is kind of all over the place it's all actual music and they have like the but it all works goes, where yeah. like oh, it, yeah. it makes uh-huh. sense where it's put in yeah. the movie mm-hmm. it, that, well and that's their reasoning for it well, it's yeah. like he plays this song in like Oh wait! Don't get out of the car yet. I gotta restart the song. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like that stuff. There's, That's just awesome. Like that movie's Luke, so are good. Are you taking a picture of me? Also, <laughs> Lily James is so hot. No, you know who's <laughs> even hotter than her? Uh, Isa Gonzalez, dude. Oh my mm. god, she's insane uh, in that movie. Uh, I don't know. I think Lily James is hotter. Really? J- just like, right. like. Does she shoot anybody? <laughs> Does she shoot That's anybody? That's what I thought. Is that, no, but she, is, is that, that what boosts that, up that's, your That's the deal car? breaker. That's the deal breaker. It, no, but it's cooler. It adds I to the want cool a girl factor. that murders people. No, but it adds to the cool factor. <laughs> so, Ben? My recommendation uh, is John Mulaney, Kid Gorgeous. He's a stand-up comic, and he had this set at Radio City, and he's just he was a writer for SNL for a long time. Mm-hmm. Um, and then he kind of branched off into his own thing. He was in Into the Spider Verse. He was uh, the, oh, pig. Wasn't he the pig. Yeah, yeah he was yeah, the pig. Spider Ham. Yeah, Spider Ham. That's it. Yeah. Um, and he just has like this one hour like stand up uh sketch at Radio City Music Hall, and it's really really good. So. Where Where do you find it? Oh, like, uh, it's on iTunes Netflix. Netflix. It's on Netflix. I feel like Netflix is getting into comedy now. Like, oh, definitely. Mm-hmm. I'm there's seeing so many a comedy lot specials. more like net, yeah, like Netflix like comedy specials. Yeah, like Netflix, Chappelle like, and like movies. Bill Burr have. Because I think they're Bo finding Burnham's that. Bo Burnham's on there. Like, Bo Burnham's I think they're on there, finding yeah. that that's working well for them because a lot of the other streaming services like they're doing their original stuff too. That's just getting more traction than most of Netflix's stuff outside of like Stranger Things. Mm-hmm. But Netflix is really getting with the the comedy specials and. I, I mean, yeah. I've heard, I hear people talking about. Yeah, this. I feel so I like getting... uh, I feel like that's kind of a, a weird area for like people who do like who like companies that put up full comedy sets because I feel like not a lot of people go out searching for those kind of things. But yeah. when they do, they like... they'll watch three hours. They'll, they'll watch the entire thing. Mm-hmm. It's not yeah. like they'll yeah. click off it. Mm-hmm. Um, he has three sets on there right now, and he's coming out with a new who? one. Chappelle? Soon. No, uh, John Mulaney. Oh, John Mulaney. Yeah, I've I've started watching the Bill Burr ones, mm-hmm. and in in Let It Go, uh, the the pumpkin the pumpkin one is so funny. The he, yeah, Bill Burr is like, really nice. He's the pumpkin he's cool. one makes me laugh so hard. If if you've seen it or when you see it, just think about the pumpkin one is that one on netflix too yeah yeah okay he, he has like five specials on netflix it's i haven't kind of watched awesome. a lot of his stuff but i've he's really funny i've heard some of it but yeah i don't know about the pumpkin one <laughs> neither do i sad face 
Oof. I can't. I can't <laughs> say it. I can't say it on the podcast because this is a family-friendly podcast. Yeah, but... Bill Burr's not family-friendly. Yeah. Oh, I might have to watch that at all. <laughs> not family-friendly is my cup of tea. All yeah. right, that's that's my What's recommendation. Your recommendation so my recommendation. Did you not do week. yours yet? No, no, he hasn't. No. Uh, my my recommendation for the week is. It's a it's a pretty big TV show. I'm sure a lot of you have heard about it. It's called Career in Tech. God, I hate you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's it's really funny. I think the writers intensifies. The writers are are really really good. Luke um, Luke wrote this. Some of the act- Luke wrote some this. of the actors in Career in Tech are like certified. Ex- it's on our YouTube actors. channel. If you guys want to watch it, yeah, it, yeah. Um, link in the description. Check it on the, the link channel. in the description. Uh, episode five is coming out. This morning, this morning as of when we're recording this, this episode is being recorded on Tuesday because we don't have school on any other November day. November 26th. Yeah, so episode yeah. five will be up once you... Once It'll you already be done. up when this yeah. is up, so go watch. Check it out. Yeah. Yeet. It's pretty good. I think I think everybody got a healthy dose of clownage in episode five. Yeah. Any, anybody who There was a lot of inside jokes that probably outside yeah. people won't understand. Oh, yeah, no, definitely. Oh, yeah, but, true. but anybody that can't I mean, be it, clowned for something pretty yeah. much got clowned. Yeah. 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 I like the career in tech. It's pretty I, nice. Yeah, I, like it's, it. it's, I like it a lot. It's an, it's definitely a nice thing because we've got like our like big projects that take a ton of like pre-planning. Man hours and, yeah. and just hard and work. And then you, you've got career in tech, which is just like you take a day and you just have fun filming it. Yeah. yeah. Where you're not concerned about trying to win awards. It's and just, make it look really, or really get, good. Or get like it's shooting just making, schedules and yeah, exactly. it's finding just place to shoot. entertaining content that's fun to film. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Also, I pretty and much... And it's actually really funny. I, I think it is, yeah. Also, I pretty much write the all of the scripts so you don't really even have to like help write it you just have yeah. to one day we just have I'll, to be I'll there ask someone hey do you want to help me film and they'll be like yeah, sure. yeah. Mm-hmm. it's it's super fun <clears throat> yeah but i'm the one who made it so <laughs> yeah the, we can we all I'm know the credits biased. the credits definitely created by luke melby written by luke melby directed by luke melby starring luke melby actually no not starring and then there's he's like not a, actually in it but then he's got like the special thanks yeah, to like to mr, mr. frank and episode, and CTC. episode five and actually has a little luke cameo I have oh a little that's cameo. right is that the ant yeah the yeah ant. it's when he's flopping like, on the ground like a dead fish sh- <laughs> <laughs> spoiler bleep, alert you can bleep that out when you're editing this I, week. I, I, it's fine that part's but good i where did the idea for career in tech come from I'm curious. Um, office. Were you watching? Were you like on an office binge? You no, like, oh, I you wasn't. Know, be great? I wasn't on a binge or anything. I just, our class is so crazy, and I thought if if That's I fair. just kind of, because if you watch the first episode, Oops, nice. Except for the very end, everything that happens in that, kinda does happen, just not to that extent. I don't remember what happened in the first. Well, episode. so like I go through everyone and I interview, and then she's like, "Oh, you know, things can get pretty intense sometimes," and then everyone goes, "Fight, fight." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that mm-hmm. doesn't happen, but like, wow. yeah, we have we have Fight Club Fridays. Like we we not we anymore. Chant crap and, well, yeah. Oh yeah. Like well, there's no uh, unwanted intruders in the building, which is just Chris in a tweed jacket. <laughs> like the neighborhood drunk. I love how it's like whenever we yeah. need like a creepy person or like a dad or a teacher, it's always Chris. It's always <laughs> Chris. What's the part? I think Brady. Did you I just spill so water? Sorry. I just like. Like spit did you, it. It looked like you tried to catch water. In your hand. <laughs> well, I was like yeah. you tried to, you spilled and then you like caught the water drop. I was like I was <laughs> drinking it, and then I like curled my lips in like I did one of those. Oh, and then it yeah. went and, and it just like, like squirted yeah, out. Yeah, I know. What and you're I was just like, what? I was just confused to be completely honest, because I just wasn't <laughs> prepared for that. But uh, yeah, I sorry. Yesterday, now I remember what I was gonna say. Yesterday. I calculated the time that it takes to watch the entire fir- first half of the first season of Career in Tech, and it's like 20, 23 minutes or something like that. Mm. Like, it, it, it just keeps on getting longer and longer. Just make a, like, when a season is finished, make, like, a director's cut where you turn the season into, like, a, like a half feature. I agree. Like, mm-hmm. you get, like, a 45-minute thing where you see, like, everything that would happens. Be, that would be cool. Yeah, you know, like you can have that transitions would be cool. like day two or whatever. 
or something. You know what I just thought of? Uh, what would be interesting to post on the the class YouTube channel? What? So whenever we have a big project like what we're doing now, whenever we go places to practice fight scenes or whatever, we can do like a behind the scenes cut. Oh, that's a good idea, actually, like a vlog. Yeah, pretty much. And then so we mm, just kind of mm-hmm. do behind the scenes. Yeah. And then so you you have behind the scenes leading up to the video. So yeah, yeah. let's say like we're at the bar doing the fight scene or whatever, mm-hmm. practicing it, rehearsing it, kind of showing all the steps towards yeah. that. And not just, like, editing and, like, script writing, but, like, mm-hmm. more of the entertaining bits, like, when we're just fighting yeah. or whatever. And or even, like, that stuff. can yeah. be, yeah. like, a, like when we get a big project, like, a weekly series, like, yeah. like week by week, like, progression of, like, oh, this week we're writing the script. Next week we're still writing the script. The week after that, we're still writing the script. That's, <laughs> what, this, that's what this yeah. project would yeah. be. It'd be a lot of script writing. But then, and then after all then, of that, yeah, you can yeah. post the video, and then we can just pop it all into a playlist. Yeah, yeah. So it's all like right a, there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like a weekly, like little five minute, like update segment, just yeah. some footage of like what we're doing. Yeah. Or, like if we're shooting something, like an on set vlog. That's actually a really good idea. Yeah. I'd, I feel like it'd be, that would be cool. pretty fun. Mind that would doing be cool. that. That'd be awesome. Yeah. So, do we want to get into talking about Knives Out? I'm out? down. That was a do great we wanna, movie. We, we got a lot to talk about. Do we want to start with no spoilers, and then we can get into spoilers, or do we think it's just easier well, to start talking about spoilers? Well, the whole thing, it's kind of it's yeah, hard to do without spoilers, I yeah. believe. With, like, a murder mystery like this, yeah. it's kind of hard to not spoil it with, like, yeah. all right. the first couple right. of sentences. Uh, later. Say bye to Luke. All right, Luke's going to head out because he hasn't seen it. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah. See you, Luke. Let's reach over the table with fist bump. We just got, like, electrocuted. Yeah, like, there's, like, yeah. a static. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think, like, I was super excited for this movie, by the way. Oh, like, my God. Yeah. I think that's partly due to, A, it just looked really good, and they did such a good job marketing this movie. The marketing mm-hmm. for this movie was so good. I assumed it would be good, but, dude, it was so, like, it was so insane. many, like, just shots and stuff, like... It was it was such a great movie. I loved it so much. And everything with like story development and character development, yeah, it was really really good. It was so good because um, they didn't miss like really any points that yeah they the they audience needed. To they know. got out all the information that they needed. How long was yeah, the movie? No. It was like an hour. It was two, uh, two, uh, two hours. Two and two ten. Two and ten. Two and two ten. ten. Yeah. So it's like that's yeah. And I mean, overall, for that many characters, you get yeah. every bit of information that you need mm-hmm. for it yeah, for yeah. a murder mystery. Um, and especially, they did that like, well. They especially did a good job, like. Where you have things that happen that you don't really realize are going to be important later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, then yep. wind up coming back and being like, oh, that, yeah, this was important, by the way. Yeah. Um, so before we really get into it, I just want to point out that on Rotten Tomatoes, the, um, like the, the ratings that it got. Isn't it like 96%? It's, it's 96 for both. Audience probably. score and then just like the... Mm-hmm. The people who rate it, so both got a ninety six percent even. Yeah, and so, on nice. IMDb it gets like six point eight because all of the salty Star Wars fans went and left one star reviews because it's the same guy that did the Last Jedi. Are you serious? <laughs> Imagine Dude, being that much of a clown. Dude, it's such a good movie. It, it too. really yeah, exactly. is good. It is. Like, it really is. It's such a good movie. It, like, oh, like the, there's there's a lot of very little yeah, things. Like, the casting that they did the was cast really was good. Insane. Yeah, like that. They Not had, everybody uh, had a ton of screen time, but they all had. They had. They, they all had, had enough. They had I enough. I feel like nobody got chintzed out. Yeah. Yeah. Here, let's. I'm gonna go get the cast so we can read off okay, yeah. who the cast is because I remember most at, of it. But at the AMAs, two of the cast members like presented like. Uh, oh, really? Not an award, but like introdu- the introduced the American Music Awards. Oh. I'm pretty sure. But uh, all right. Uh, I, got, I got the cast list. So, uh, it's it basically it it follows uh, Ana de Armas's character, who's kind of the maid, mm-hmm. like the, the nurse, the hired nurse of yeah. Yeah. Uh, Harlan Thrombey, who's the guy that dies, mm-hmm. uh, played by uh, Christopher Plummer, and then uh, you've got Daniel Craig as uh, Benoit Blanc, the like mm-hmm. eccentric detective. Yeah, and then outside of the the two of or the three of them. The, the whole family, you've got Chris Evans as uh, Ransom Drysdale. Same person who played Captain America. Yeah. Who, yes. And he's like, he's completely different in this role. It's like, if there's, oh, an, yeah. if there's an opposite of Captain America, it's This different. was it, yeah. He's like, just a vile person. Mm-hmm. Like, it's just, eat shit. 
eat shit. Eat shit. <laughs> that was, that was so the good. best scene of the movie, honestly. I that loved so that fun. movie. <laughs> Definitely eat shit. Definitely eat shit. <laughs> no, it was yeah. so just like his yeah. development for the character and how he played it was just so perfect, yeah. I think. And he then, did a really good job. Uh, Catherine Langford as Meg Thromby, who's like the SJW political activist who looks like it and smokes a jewel. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. was that like the kind of like she was the, the like, long blonde hair? No, 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 she was the like the dark chick hair. that looked like she the, was already. The chick who Hannah was like Baker. going to college. Oh, oh yeah, okay, yeah. I've not actually watched that, but I, that. I, yeah, yeah, I the, the, the same well. actor who played Hannah Baker. Okay, and, uh, okay, yeah. Um, 13 Reasons Why. Yeah, uh, and then you've got uh, Michael Shannon as Walt Thromby, who's like the the son who like basically uh, Harlan Thromby is like a super like best selling mystery author. author. Yeah, uh, and his son Walt, who's played by Michael Shannon, runs like his publishing company. Or at least is like trying to yeah. and like. Well, he does. Just he gets into disagreements with his dad. About, yeah, like, yeah. About how movie the dad wants things and stuff. to go. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then Jamie Lee Curtis as uh, Linda Drysdale, who is Chris Evans' character's mom. Uh, she's like a pretty, isn't she like a real? She's like a real estate mogul. She I like, think I think so. Because yeah. there was the whole thing like I, I built my business from the ground up, like oh, yeah, like that running joke mm-hmm. of like everybody except Michael Shannon did that. Uh, Tony mm-hmm. Collette as the like lifestyle person that nobody else in the family really likes. I thought I thought she was really funny mm-hmm. in this. Oh, she, she, yeah. Just uh, not even the lines, but just like the way she acted in this. Just was the that character. that one like blonde? She was the mom blonde chick. The, the mother from Meg. The one that was meditating. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. The one that you would think would send their child to an SJW school. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was an actual joke in the movie, by the way. Uh, and then you've got Lakeith Stanfield as Detective Lieutenant Elliot, who's like just a police detective. Mm-hmm. Uh, Don Johnson as he was Richard Drysdale, right? Yeah, he was Jamie Lee Curtis's uh, cheating husband. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. I think that's it. Yeah, that's that's everybody, yeah. right? Oh, and uh, Jaden Martell as Jacob Thromby, who's Walt's son, uh, and he's like a like a. They referred to him as Nazi child. Oh yeah, that oh, was so yeah. funny. Wasn't he like the alt right internet troll? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like mini Ben Shapiro. Yeah, he was yeah. like the little teenager. Kid. He didn't have that much screen time where he was doing stuff, but he was he was like in the background of every mm-hmm. shot. But he still had like a part that like got the story yeah, together. Yeah, yeah, he was with different he was a big role with the mm-hmm. um the plot development. Yeah, plot, de- yeah. plot development. Thank you. So. Yeah. But yeah, no, this movie was so good. Like there was, uh, like obviously I expected it to be good, but there were so many little things yeah. like comes coming down to shots, and then just like every character had a completely different personality. Like there was no mm-hmm. like similar people. Yeah. And it was just it was so crazy. And they and not only was it like just such a great movie and everything, and it was very serious at times, but it was also, there were funny parts. It was really There were funny. parts mm-hmm. that, like, made yeah. you laugh. Like, Not even just that, like, the, the entire thing throughout was just really funny. Yeah. Like, it was a really fun movie. Mm-hmm. Like, it was when mm-hmm. you walk out of the theater and you're like, wow, that was, like, yeah, but it, see it again. Yeah, it wasn't one that was like, oh, this is just strictly a comedy. Oh, like, yeah, it was yeah, like, yeah, no. there was, it was, definitely. it was a, it was a good mix. Yeah. But you know, it was it was so good. Definitely, definitely one of my top movies. I don't know yeah. if this, I don't know, I don't know, because I said Joker is my number one movie. So I yeah. don't know if this passes it or not. But uh, it's, it's definitely I mean, up we, there. I think we should wait till we get to rankings yeah. to figure that out. But like, I mm-hmm. think the cinematography in this movie is oh, yeah. really good. Like a lot yeah. of the like like symbolism in the shots itself. Mm-hmm. Like Brady the, said yeah, to me this when is we're one walking shot. out of the theater, you can talk about that okay yeah so there's this one shot that i wanted to that i noticed that like really stood spoiler out Spoiler by the way we're, yeah spoiler we're, full talk we're going spoilers. into spoilers um uh there was one shot that really stood out to me it was when uh so after the uh the father died the old man whatever uh, mm-hmm. harlan. Brain, harlan. harlan after harlan died uh they had a, a time where they read off the will or his will 
and he gave it all to his caretaker, like everything, the house, the money, the whole thing. The business, I'm pretty yeah, sure. The yeah, the business. Everything. And he's, like, super rich. Like, oh, very, yeah. like, like It was $60 million, yeah, $60 I think. $60 million. Dollars. And he's yeah. got a fat pad, too. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, like, they literally made a joke in the movie where it was, like, he has a freaking clue house or yeah. something like that. This dude, this dude he lives does. in a clue He board. does, yeah. though. It's, yeah. But, uh, yeah, so they gave, or he gave everything to the caretaker, and obviously the family was... You know, the family's usually supposed to get it. That's usually how these they kind were, of things they they were left all with expecting nothing. That they were gonna yeah, get it. yeah, yeah. They're yeah. all sitting there like, like when they're getting ready to read the will. When they're reading off like, uh, like, oh well, in his will is like his sixty million dollar fortune, and then they'd cut over to the people that want his money. Yeah. Or the people yeah. that think they're getting the house, or yeah. uh, the people that think they're getting his company. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so obviously the family thought they would get it, and they didn't get anything. They zero nothing nothing at all nothing yeah. and uh and so obviously the family was pretty angry about this and so they were like confronting her and it was a whole crazy scene like they like acting like animals pretty much like that was just like they were they like people were angry at her but also like were just asking her like oh what, you aren't you gonna give the money like come on like we're family you know it was they like they were like coked up paparazzi yeah yeah no yeah. it was crazy yeah um and so it was a very chaotic scene and so she had to, she was like trying to leave because everyone was getting kind of crazy. And when it cut to the shot outside, it was just instead of having like a tripod or like an H mount for the camera, they just did handheld. And it was kind of shaky cam, but it worked so perfectly because yeah. that really mm-hmm. pushed the. Yeah, um, I know what you're talking about now. It pushed like they the chaoticness of that and the shaky. It was like it wasn't like it was a like an earthquake and the camera camera was just like, <laughs> like freaking out. Over the place. But it was it was subtle, but it was so so well executed. Yeah. It was mm-hmm. so nice. Especially I was like, like that's the best shaky cam I've lit- I've ever yeah. seen in any movie. It raised the tension of the scene a lot. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Especially yeah. like it made it. It made the audience f- like feel the just chaoticness of it and yeah. just mm-hmm. how crazy it was. Because it doesn't start out shaky. Like you see her walk out of the mm-hmm. house and it's still smooth, and then you see like two people come out and it starts to get shaky, and then they all just swarm. Yeah, out, and, and they they surround going, her. Yeah, mm-hmm. and it starts so it's like just yeah, going. it's kind of slow and gradual. Yeah, like two people come out, it's like kind of a little bit, like, and then they swarm, up. just surround her, yeah, and, and then, then it's and like the car won't start. Yeah, and the car. Yeah, it, yeah. dude, yeah. Mm-hmm. so good, and it wasn't yeah. like. It wasn't yeah. held out for too long. Mm-hmm. It wasn't too short. It wasn't like too much shaky. Like it was perfect amount. Oh, like yeah, definitely best shaky game I've ever seen. And I gotta yeah. give him props for that because it was mm-hmm. so good. Definitely. That's the other. Yeah, the one that I noticed both times is, uh, toward towards the end after mm. the the one that did it gets taken away. We're not gonna say who yet. We'll save that for a little while mm-hmm. uh, later. Um, you've got. That person has been apprehended by the police and taken away, and the rest of the family is down on the ground. And outside the, the house, the nurse Marta is her name. Uh, who now she's, owns? She's she, who now has everything. Yeah, who uh, owns the house? The money, the house, the company, the everything. She's uh, up on a balcony, and they're all looking, looking up down at her, on them. And there's a nice wide shot of all of them looking up at her, and her like looking down on them. And I didn't catch this the first time, but then she takes a drink of her coffee that's like, the it cup was, says, like, my house, my rules, something, and she's got everything covered it was, up. It was my house, my, my rules, house. my coffee, and everything yeah. was covered, it was just my house. And she it just was, says uh, my house, yeah. and she takes a drink of it, and that's, like, the last like, shot of the Like, wrapping, like, the blanket and, like, throwing uh-huh. down, looking up yeah. at her in the mm-hmm. mansion. It was uh, and I thought the, sh- the, the, sh- the father's, or the grandpa, whatever he was, yeah. uh, it was his mug. The other thing I noticed is the score was really good. The score? Like the, like the, the score, Rotten the Tomatoes? Music. Oh, no, 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 the, the music. music. The score oh. soundtrack. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. The music was really good. Like, it definitely fit the genre, like, mm-hmm. for Murder definitely. Mystery. Definitely. But it was really good. Like, a lot of the themes and stuff in there were, like, it, yeah. it was just really good. One of the yeah. hardest things to do in filmmaking is finding the right music. Well, I mean, they had a dedicated composer. I'm pretty sure well, it was actually yeah. Ryan Johnson's brother did the music. Because mm-hmm. I looked the score up uh, to see. But, uh... I mean, just going back to what I said, it was like, like finding that right. I mean, even if you have like your own composer, sometimes you just uh-huh. don't know what you need for that. Yeah, definitely. Um, mm-hmm. Like I know when I did the 72 fest, it was like, that was our biggest problem. Find music. Like we had, oh, yeah. uh, I think we had five people in our group and we had half of the group just looking for music. 
and it was just like and even mm-hmm. the music that we end up settling on wasn't that great like we knew what we wanted but it was just like it's so hard to yeah. find that kind of stuff and especially mm-hmm. when you're looking for royalty free music. Yeah. oh yeah That's the other i thing, don't even yeah. i don't even bother because like we're not trying yeah. to make money off any of our stuff so i just say all right what movie have i seen that the soundtrack would do would work really mm-hmm. well for this mm-hmm. and then i just go look at that soundtrack and listen to it and go through it and find stuff yeah mm-hmm. but definitely one of the hardest things in filmmaking is, is oh yeah figuring out the music um to really set the tone of those scenes because like yeah. if you have you have if you have the wrong music that totally can completely it can completely, it can ruin. It can yeah, completely ruin the movie oh, yeah. mm-hmm. let sure. alone the scene like uh the mistake that i know i made towards the beginning of the year like it was actually it was with our thriller. towards this the beginning no, of this year or last year, year. okay yeah. uh i i kept looking like when i'd look for music i just try and find like the biggest like boom boom like mm. cool like avengers level and the music action music for but and it wouldn't necessarily even if it's action a lot of times the like avengers level action music won't fit. won't always fit like if yep. it's just a fist fight the avengers theme song wouldn't necessarily i'm just going to use avengers as an example because they avengers is just very big mm-hmm. scale like they have a lot mm-hmm. of like, bah, with like, like the horn section music. and all yeah. that stuff yeah with a lot of the horns and stuff a lot of like that still won't fit just like a regular fist, oh, which yeah. I think I think that's why like, I'm gonna just keep bringing it up. The Arrow soundtrack is so good because it's not too over the top, but it's but it's, it's, it's enough that it exactly and adds it's to so it. badass too. Mm-hmm. Like it's yeah, I I can't talk about the Arrow soundtrack enough. It's so good. You know the Avengers like theme that is you have to have something extremely epic yeah as equal to the avengers in yeah like you can't just slap exactly. that on anything because it's yeah like and i i know sometimes it's like you also have to like people sometimes want to time punches or mm-hmm. hits with like beats of the song oh yeah mm-hmm. and that's a whole nother thing but like well especially like when you have a composer do it for you you can do as much of that well as you yeah want. yeah I think that's they did that a lot in knives out as well where they had stuff timed with the music what, like, what do you mean? Because they didn't have any, like, fights. No, not necessarily fights, but, like, just just certain things. Not necessarily, like, the music happening. Or, like, a door, door slamming, like, something like, like that. Like, door slamming or, like, footsteps. I, I don't remember exactly what it was, but mm-hmm. I remember thinking to myself, like, oh, wow, that synced up with the music really well. Like, whether it was just someone talking or, like, cutting between people doing yeah. a okay, scene. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. I don't remember what the exact one was, yeah, but I remember but... thinking that. Yeah. That it looked really good also if you guys do go to see this movie um which i would highly recommend oh, go 100%. with a big crowd this is a good movie yeah. to go with a large crowd because you get a lot of laughter a lot of <gasps> yeah like, oh my god like I realization of like yeah, different definitely aspects. yeah definitely also, it's a good movie to go see like over thanksgiving with your family although this episode course. will be up after thanksgiving okay but i'm um, still gonna try and convince my parents to let us go again while we're down for thanksgiving <laughs> with a bunch of people. but uh yeah no definitely go see it with a uh, big group of people or your friends or just a packed theater um but yeah so good movie um before the movie starts it'll show you like a picture of like everyone <laughs> i would recommend uh take like you know taking bids guessing yeah, take who guess. you think is going oh, to be the murderer yeah. yeah i but i got it wrong i yeah okay i was i was wrong <laughs> but i i didn't even make a guess but uh um halfway through the movie like my original guess was like I mean, obviously, I didn't know anything about any of the characters yet. Yeah. So it's like it's just whatever, whoever you think. But uh. Your original guess was Don Johnson. Yeah. Character. And then r- right as the movie start, I I got thinking like it's always the the caretaker, and for the entire movie, the plot set up to make you think it was the caretaker, but on accident, like she didn't, she obviously mm-hmm. didn't mean to do it. Like a um, mix up. Yeah, but uh. And so, and I thought that before that even happened, I was like, "Oh, it's always the caretaker. Mm-hmm. Like that's just how things yeah. work." It's always like the, the innocent, butler, yeah. like one yeah. that's just like there to help mm-hmm. to like get yeah, because no one would along. suspect them. Yeah. And then it was like, "Well, and this, this person's the murderer." And I was like, well, "Why are they just revealing it?" Yeah. I was, I was, I was kind of annoyed at that. To be it honest, was too I was like, soon to I was like, reveal. "Why did they reveal that so early?" But then it was yeah. a whole another overarching plot. Yeah. I wasn't really annoyed by that because I, I, I knew that there was more to yeah. it than that. I knew there was going to be something else going on there. Mm-hmm. Like, I didn't think that that was going to be it because that would be very anticlimactic. Definitely. And, like, to reveal that that was what happened there was, yeah. like, the first act of And then the it was just a matter of them hiding it. Yeah. yeah there was so many. Boring. There was so many different details that, like, yeah. 
like There's so would like have things. you like and a lot of twists think it's her and then not her like the dogs barking yeah yeah or like, like the old the really old lady yeah like said like oh ran- old ransom you're back again like, that stuff. you're back again <laughs> And, like, the whole, like, detective was, like, just, like, yeah. figuring and putting everything and together, like, right at the end. The thing, like, where the person... Oh, that probably made an un- unfun sound. I just bumped the mic. Uh, the thing that the person that did it was the one that hired the detective. Yeah. Yeah, like, that was cool. That was insane. I really... Like, frame the whole thing. Dude, you it was know, ridiculous. The, like, obviously I had the main plot. So, or how it went is... The, uh, so obviously the, uh, the father takes medicine, so he has morphine. Three to, milligrams of morphine. Yeah, three milligrams, three milligrams of morphine, morphine to help him sleep of, and a hundred of, of, some other of his actual, like, medicine. Yeah. And the, yeah. the morphine's just, like, you know, to, to help, help him, him sleep. Him. and yeah. The good stuff. Yeah, the good, the good stuff. stuff as you, yeah. Um, yeah, so the, the vials got mixed up, and she put the wrong one in him. And then, so the whole movie, you are you think that's oh she accidentally killed him and then the old man was like they were they were talking about it was like there's no way uh an ambulance would get to this house in time because with the because she thought she put 100 milligrams of, of, morphine, of morphine which will that will kill you, you pretty quick pretty uh, yeah what, what was it was like 10, 10 minutes 10 yeah. minutes he was like well it's been eight already yeah dude he was okay i'm gonna sidebar real quick dude Harlan was so funny. Harlan was so he was hilarious. Like There's literally about to die, and he was He's just like, like, "This is elder abuse." Yeah, <laughs> this is elder Knock, abuse. Just knocks the board over and rages. <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh like literally, God. he was about to die, and he was just still making jokes and I stuff. I wasn't expecting him to be like a funny character. Oh he no, was not one at all. Of the he was. He, yeah, he was probably movie. one of my favorite characters. That he was, was so funny, and he had more screen time than you would think. Oh they yeah, had a lot. They had for a dead character. Yeah. he had a lot and of screen like, time. They didn't start it with the scene of what happens, like what happened to where he dies. They start mm-hmm. basically the movie opens on a bunch of shots of like stuff around the house to kind of show you, like give you an idea what the house is, mm-hmm. and then you see his act, like his actual maid, not just his nurse that he hires, kind of coming in. I know it picked that up. Please, not the smacking on the table. Yeah. I mean, how the fuck do you think that's a good idea? Like, oh, you know what? Let's let's just. What were we talking? What were we even talking about? I, I know. The thing where they had his actual like maid made to kind of. She's the one that walked in on him at like dead with his throat slit. Yeah. And then you see like the title card. And then they go to the like the interviews of all the family members, and as Which the family really members good. tell the story, you see, you start to see bits and pieces of the like they were celebrating his 85th birthday of like the, party. the night of the party, yeah, and, like, and stuff that's like when that. he died. Yeah, uh, you start to get like bits and pieces and snippets of that party scene, and then eventually when when Marta the nurse comes in, who has this, it's it's very weird, but it. I think it works. It just works with, with the, the movie. plot, yeah. She has this thing where she vomits anytime she lies. Oh yeah. Which mm-hmm. is very campy and but it, it worked. It was it, it worked. was funny and, and entertaining and worked especially worked well in the end. It was with definitely ha- with what exactly happened in the end. Yeah. It was mm-hmm. really funny. It was definitely kind of a throwaway thing oh, to do, with, but oh, it, yeah. they did it well though. Yep. Um, um but when she gets called in, then you get like a oh well tell me in detail. And then you get like a thirty-minute sequence of like what all happened with her and Harlan and like at the party. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it just you, you keep going back to that night throughout the story. Yeah. And the thing was is, is really uh, nice. and things ev- change every yeah. time they go back. Yeah. It's like some people were lying, and then everything, uh-huh. people's stories won't line up, and everyone had a motive to kill mm-hmm. him as well. Mm-hmm. Well. Um, Ma- no, Jamie Lee uh, Curtis's character didn't. Okay, have yeah. Well, a, a lot of people had. Motive. Pretty much all of them, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. But anyway, going back to what I said, um, and so basically, and her family um, were illegal immigrants. Her mother was, and so she was like, "If I go to jail, then my mother will have to be like deported." And she yeah. didn't want that. So mm-hmm. then, Harlan's uh, whole plan was to just be like, "All right, here's what you do: you leave." 
and like covered up. Yeah, you you basically covered up, and he because he was he was like, there's no stopping this, and I, and he mm-hmm. cared about his caretaker, so he's like, I don't want you to get in trouble. So he slit his throat, kind of almost faked his death, and then had this whole plot of like she had to leave and like, and, like turn, announce the time, and then yeah. and then turn off at a certain point so the camera's on like, catcher. Turned the off fact, at the wrong point. Yeah. She had to destroy the video. And mm-hmm. then like she had to like come back to the house and go back in and then like it was a Through, whole like a yeah, secret yeah. like door yeah, it was and then, a like, whole come in. thing yeah and that was like the main plot and there was a whole nother overarching plot with yeah. who actually did it yeah. it was so, and it was, it was and it was very it was similar crazy. to what she did too was the thing yeah like it was similar but certain things happened differently like the dogs barked at the person that did it and yeah. they yeah. didn't bark at her because the dogs like her and they don't necessarily like the person that was yeah. um, that did was it. doing it yeah yeah but it was just like there's so many yeah. little details. There was so that... many things, and it was so satisfying as Daniel Craig is like explaining it, mm-hmm. and you see everything happening. Everything actually, actually, happened, actually the way happened. It, yeah. it was so good. It was like, oh my god, I yeah. didn't even pick up on this. Because then you like start to like throw everything else together that happened mm-hmm. in the beginning of the movie, yep. and you're just like, holy shit. Yeah, like, especially that, like this is. Oh, dude, and especially like. The just whole movie throws you through. Little things that you would never expect, yeah. like that they play as a joke. Yeah. One the, word, yeah. like changed the whole thing. Yeah, exactly. Like it was, it was uh-huh. crazy. It just threw you, it threw you for a loop, like oh, the dude, whole time. I know exactly what you're talking about. Because mm-hmm. because one person would lie about something, and then another mm-hmm. person would disprove that, and then you thought it was this person the whole time, but it was actually this whole other overarching story, and it was this person that and laid it all out for you. And doesn't show up until, like, halfway through. Yeah, and it was just <laughs> yeah. like... Yeah. Yeah. And then there's this one character, uh, the grandma, who just, like, never talks, and she was, like... She was the she was the one that yeah, kind of... She, she was the one that kind of solved the case to an extent. Yeah, a sen- um, yeah pretty much, because she told... Yeah, uh, and, and, like, she never talks, like... It's, ever. You know, she says, like... Is that you, grandson? And then, like, yeah. like she just thinks everyone is his grandson. So it's like, mm-hmm. and it was, it was a whole thing. And it was again, such an was the worst yep. movie. That. Okay, so do we, do we want to start talking like actual spoilers about like like who is the one? Okay, that, yeah, that we can do it? that. I'm down. Yeah. All right, so big boy, big time spoiler. Like, yeah. Like, spoiling literally the entire movie. <laughs> don't listen to this until you've seen the movie. Yeah. Like, actually, go watch the movie and then come back to this section of the yeah. podcast because. I can tell you right now, you don't want it spoiled for you. Yeah, one hundred percent. So, I mean, how, if you how, if you've watched this far and haven't watched the movie, I don't know yeah, what, what you're you doing, doing in the first place. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, honestly. definitely would. We should have said this at the beginning of the podcast, but we should def, definitely recommend you see oh, the yeah, movie no, first and then definitely. see this. I mean, or that's if you just kind of always a recommendation. Well, yeah. Or if you just don't plan movie, to see it, yeah. then watch this. But you know, mm-hmm. yeah. it's not pirated yet. Yeah, so that's not really an option at the moment. But yeah, the only reason we uh, saw it so early is we got an early screening of this. Yeah, like, there was a. Yeah, early, they were doing early, early screenings around the country on the Friday and Saturday before it came out, and mm-hmm. we went to those. When does it actually drop? The twenty seventh. Wednesday. Wednesday. Okay. So to- that's tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's right. Yeah. 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 We don't Tuesday. have school tomorrow. Dude, I just realized I'm gonna miss Arrow and Flash tonight because we're driving down to North Carolina, <sighs> Oof, and I'm kind of not happy. Are about you going that. to see family or something? Yeah, we go down there yeah. for Thanksgiving every year. Nice. I mean, I can watch them on demand on my phone, but, like, you know, I like to watch on the big TV in mm-hmm. yeah. my house. Cause, the big screen, yeah. You know, last season and all. <laughs> all right, so the person that did it, how, how do we feel about it being Chris Evans? I think it was a little predictable, to be honest. He was, like, he was the most that you would Sus. expect. Because, like, from the, from the trailers, you could tell that he was just, like, a vile human. Yeah, like, but I feel like... The reason why people didn't, because I, I don't, I mean, obviously I don't know because I'm not, you know, um, but I feel like most people didn't realize that it was him just because that's such a dead giveaway. Like, yeah. oh, he's, you know, he's that's a bad kid thinking. that, yeah. mm-hmm. and it's just a dead giveaway. That was what I went into and then, thinking. Yeah. Like, it's too obvious. Yeah, exactly. And then when the story progresses, you still don't think it, it's him yeah. until like the very end. Yeah, and then like, it's as still... the story progresses, he starts being like nice, nice. to yeah, he's, yeah. And, like. Even though he's not actually being nice, you just think he's being nice. Oh, but yeah. it, 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 it was, seems like it was he's helping so him. many things, yeah. dude. It was yeah. so good. It, and yeah. even though like you like from the trailers and all that stuff, it's kinda mm-hmm. like suspecting like that he's the one, it still gives yeah. you the shock of like at the end with I mean, the whole I plot. Know. At least I, I, I got kind of surprised. I don't surprised. think the trailers made you suspect that he's the one. 
he's just the easy target in the yeah. trailer. Yeah. Yeah. He's uh, the guy that's sitting there telling everybody to eat shit. So uh, like, yeah. It's, yeah. It's pretty easy. But oh, I think it was him. Mm-hmm. Let me give a little bit of background on the Chris Evans character. Um, so basically, Chris Evans, he was just kind of like a punk kid. I think he was like... He was like a trust fund playboy. Like yeah, yeah, Harlan exactly. Harlan gives him all his money, and he he's, just goes and does whatever he wants. Yeah, he's he just wants. a punk. He doesn't have to work. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and that gets threatened. He, almost kind of like an outcast of yeah. the family. Like, no one really likes yeah. him. Like Walt said, he's the black sheep of the family. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And then the only reason why Harlan was doing all this, because he, like, he... he um, Chris Evans' character reminded Harlan of uh, himself. himself when he was young, just kind of stupid and yeah. trust mm-hmm. and yeah. yeah. And, but uh, the the thing that kind of motivated this all along is at the party, uh, Ransom. That Ransom is Chris Evans' character. Ransom that's right. That's right. Mm-hmm. Which is a very good rich kid trust fund person name. Name. <laughs> Drysdale. That's the most like country club name possible yeah. uh but so they they were having like an argument in, in his uh, office. harlan's like office yeah about harlan is gonna cut like he told ransom that he's gonna cut everyone out of his will and give it and All give to everything marta. to marta mm-hmm. so he knew about this in advance so he plans like his his like framing almost and of her in that thing the so, like the teenager like that's always on his yeah. phone was in the bathroom. He was in the bathroom, right? you know. Yeah, doing you know? doing stuff, and there was like the vent like goes into the office, yeah. so he heard Choking the, the conversation. Yeah. <laughs> Choking. Choking the chicken. <laughs> and he heard Ransom say, "I'm warning you," and that's yeah. one of the big pieces of evidence that yeah. gets revealed later. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then it so basically what happens is like. They're they're like in the beginning they're they're kind of passing it off as jokes like oh ransom that little shit he's not coming to the funeral yeah mm-hmm. and then you see later why he didn't he's, come. why he's not coming to the funeral so basically what he does it, it he he storms off after his argument with Harlan about the will like Harlan tells mm-hmm. him and you see this in the very beginning like ransom storms off and he leaves and he's the party just, yeah he leaves the party mm-hmm. and then later on as he's telling Marta this. He's driving, and he's, he says he feels like a sense of clarity or whatever. Yeah. So mm-hmm. he goes he goes back to the house and sneak and he goes back to the house and goes up the, the, s- the side, like... Trellis. Yeah. Yeah. I the no, same I way that Marta... Do you remember that? What is, yeah. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Yeah. The, goes, it's basically like, a, <laughs> basically like a rack on the wall where, yeah. like, vines and stuff uh-huh. would grow up. That's yeah. called a yeah. trellis. So he climbs up that and goes in, like, a secret window... Mm-hmm. And switches the labels on Marta's medicine. So when she thought that she was giving, um, she knew she had the right one faces. because she's done it so many times she can feel which one is the she right knows, one. Like, she wasn't looking. The color yeah. of like the liquids yeah, and, and like, like the, the viscosity or the yeah. density or whatever. Mm-hmm. So she gave him the right one, but since the labels were switched, she thought she gave him the wrong one. Yeah. So then he ended up killing himself because of that because he said, "Oh well, I figured." I'd really but in die reality, he was. Fine. But he was okay. He would have he been alive if. He and and the reason why he killed himself because he didn't. He thought he was gonna he, die. Well, he didn't want. Yeah, uh, and he didn't want Marta, Marta to, to get take the blame for it. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then get her mom deported and her go to jail mm-hmm. and. But so basic. So what happens is Chris Evans' ransom comes back to the house through like the woods, like a back way, and the dogs don't like him, which you can see in the trailer. Yeah. Uh, like the dogs are jumping on him, barking. Barking. Uh, the dogs don't like him, and the dogs start barking. Uh, and he goes up the the trellis in through the back window and switches the labels, and then leaves. And then Nana, the old the lady that we don't know how old she is, is standing in the window, and she's like, "Ransom, the, you're back." The the Nana is um. What's his face? She's is. Harlan's mom. Yeah, Harlan's and mom. Harlan's and Harlan is five. yeah. So that just yeah. gives you a bit <laughs> so of she, context. She must have been a teen mother. I mean, she was old as well. Not though. necessarily. Oh, yeah. I mean, like if yeah, she's no, like twenty five, yeah. she'd be like one hundred and ten uh-huh. or something. Yeah, but it, yeah, definitely. They they were like, oh, we don't even know how old. she But is. hundreds, most oh, yeah. most oh, likely, definitely. somewhere in there. I mean, unless she was 15 she was senile. She yeah. Yeah. Um, and then so that's why. When when uh, Marta comes back down the trellis after she pretty much did the same thing that Ransom had already done, not knowing it, that's why Nana says, Ransom, you're back again. And no one really catches that she says, again. Uh, again, yeah. No one really, underst- like, 
picked up on that, I don't think, because it's I just caught played, it, but I just didn't think anything yeah, of it. Because she's, just she's just a liter- she's a senile old woman, yeah. and she thinks every, like she there was like there was clips. Yeah, there was yeah. clips earlier, and where she called someone else ransom. It was like yeah. grandson, and then just like so yeah. she's just a senile old woman that no one really thought anything of. Um, and and she says again, which is def- which totally played for laughs, like. Like, as Harlan is, like, voicing over, like, and make sure you're not seen, she climbs down, and, and Anna's then just standing just in the window. Just standing in the window, just staring. And she's like, oh, no. And then she's like, Ransom, you're back again. And then everybody's just like, okay, whatever. She, she's baddie. She doesn't know what she's talking about. And then it's, in the end, you're shown that Ransom had already been down there, and that's why she said again. Again. Yeah, that's the word that really <laughs> did it. Is that what yeah. the... That's the definition of trellis. <laughs> okay, so it's not a trellis. No, no, it is. It's like a it's like a modified trellis. It's it's a different type it's of trellis. A, yeah. There's a different there's multiple. Version. Do you yeah. Want, I don't, no, I don't see it. So I then see after this. he does that, because adult, it's also for climbing plants. So yeah. That's why that, I got you. So yeah. after Ransom switches the medicine and stuff, uh. Uh, after he switches the medicine labels, he goes back out the window and leaves, and he hires uh, the detective, Daniel Craig's character. He's the one that hired him. Anonymously, like, He sends him an anonymous add. envelope full of cash and a newspaper mm-hmm. clipping about Harlan's death to send him to go investigate. And basically... Um, the, so he, the reason he misses the funeral... Is he's going back, uh, he's going back to the the house to like get something out of Marta's medical bag. He he or, went like, back the to he switched the liquids. Oh, that's right. And yeah, then yeah, yeah. he took the antidote that'll yeah. s- uh-huh. help him live through like the overdose yeah. of morphine. That was the first time though. I mean, when he went back, when when the housekeeper saw him, when he went back to the house. Remember that when he missed yeah. the funeral, he went to get something with the bag. I think he, I think he just straight up took the bag because I remember the cops asking like, "Oh, where's your medical bag?" Yeah, uh, I don't oh, know. The cop, yeah, you guys must have taken it because he had that for the housekeeper yeah. uh-huh. later on. Yeah. So and uh, the ho- the actual housekeeper, like the maid, saw him doing that, uh, and and she ended up blackmailing him. So she had she mentioned to Marta at the party that she had a cousin. Who worked at a reception? Who works as a receptionist at the medical examiner's office? Um, so mm-hmm. she got her hands on the toxicology report of Harlan's blood, which would prove that Marta is innocent and didn't actually poison him. Because she anything. gave him the right dosage exactly. of both medicines. So she and she sent Ransom a picture of the title of that oh, and a thing that says like "I know what you did" and then like an address like blah 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 eight a.m. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then he basically, what he did, he rips the 8 a.m. part off and sends that to Marta and then sends her an anonymous email that says that address, 10 Mm a.m. Uh, so what you don't see, Ransom burns down the medical examiner's office. Yeah. Like, he just straight, like, Maltov's that boy. Um, Mm -hmm. also, uh, I'd like to point out that Marta thinks that those, the files that, uh, Ransom supposedly Mm -hmm. has... Uh, proves that she, she th- is guilty. Yeah, she thinks that they'll prove her guilt. Yeah. But they actually prove Which her innocence. Which is why she wants But them. they do the opposite. Yeah. Uh, so Ransom burns down the medical examiner's office to get rid of any like evidence of it. Mm-hmm. Um, which is not revealed until the end. Uh, and then they go to the medical examiner's office to try and get their hands on it. Ransom and Marta do... like. Mm-hmm. In the story, which you, which is when you still think that he's helping her, yeah. Uh, and the cops are all there, and they see them, and then you've got the lamest the detective car is there, chase. And he, yeah. and he the lamest sees. car chase of all time, mm-hmm. as put by mm-hmm. Lieutenant Elliot, which was just great. Like, yeah, she's she's do, literally flooring it. As and it's she going says. like Doing top like forty miles, sixty an miles an hour on the yeah. highway, <laughs> and they're all chasing her, and then they they catch her, obviously, uh, and they apprehend Ransom. Uh, why did they take him away? Uh, it was because the uh, old woman, the old. Because remember, 
the, oh, the, that's the right. detective yeah, 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 yeah. wants yeah. to talk to her yeah, and the old yeah, woman right. said and they, he just the said, grandson. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so they no, they, they says, took they took him in for ransom cuz ransom is his name. She doesn't okay, say well, grandson. Well, yeah. Um and they took him in for questioning yeah. at that point. They weren't arresting him, but they took yeah, him in for questioning. Yeah, they just took him in for que- Or no. Were they No, I don't even know if that I don't think she ever said anything. I think they just took him in because they hadn't questioned him yet. No, I no, no I swear because when they got they got her they got him out of the car, oh. and I because because remember sure the detective was like uh, was like went to interview with his grandma mm-hmm. or the nana or whatever. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah and he yeah, was yeah, like, yeah. I can wait all day. Yeah. Like I got mm-hmm. time. Yeah. 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 I she and we didn't see her say it, but it was implied that mm-hmm. she that she did she yeah. said say some piece of information. And then that's when when Marta kind of starts to lie, like like uh, the detective asks her like, oh. Uh, when Ransom saw me, did he tell you to drive? Even though that's not what happened, she chose to drive, like, drive away. She says yes, and then she gets in the car and throws up. And then the detective gets in the car with her, and she goes to the place that that Ransom told her to meet. It's like this creepy old like washing machine place, mm-hmm. um, like in the back. Yeah, she yeah. just asks like, "Oh, can I make a stop real quick? It won't take very long." Uh. So they, they pull over and she goes in through like a hair salon because that's less suspicious than an old man. And then goes out the building. back and yeah, then to yeah. the building uh, next to it. So her medical bag is in there. And the housekeeper, the, the housekeeper who is almost dead, she's been like chloroformed or something and then stuck with the like 100 milligrams yeah, of morphine. Yeah, morphine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and this was by ransom because he went, he went there at 8 o'clock which is what the time that she told him to meet was. Yeah. And he, he went there, and she's like, I knew, I knew it was you. And he, like, chloroforms her, knocks her out, sticks her with the morphine, and just leaves her there and leaves, like, an Like, an props empty the note envelope. up, and yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, and she's, like, tied to a chair. Um, and then puts Marta's medical bag there. And then Marta goes in, and the housekeeper, she's... She's, like, dying, like, on her way out or whatever. She falls out of her chair. She's like, you did this. You did this. Uh, and then she – you don't see her die there, but then Marta calls 911. Yeah. And, like, the ambulance comes. And there's a really funny bit in the car where uh, Blanc is, like – he's got his ear he's, got, he's, he's, like, like singing. singing in the car. And then the ambulance is like pulls up behind him, and he's like, "Oh Lord!" Yeah, he's a sinner. <laughs> he's like, like, "Oh Lord!" He, like, he, tur- like, he, gets he turns around, around the yeah, car. and then turns back, and he does a double take. He's like, "Oh Lord!" Like, and oh Lord! And he just yeah. pulls out his earbuds and hops uh-huh. out the car. Uh, and then they're like sitting in the hospital, and Marta fully comes clean to him and tells him everything that happened. And he actually gets his hands on the real tox report that that Fran, the housekeeper, had stashed under a clock on- in her weed stash. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, which was in the house, and he's reading it, and she's about to confess her that guilt she did it? to the whole family. So he's reading it, and she and he's like, "Oh wait, she she didn't do anything. She was yeah. fine. Someone else did this." So he pulls her aside, and she's like, and he speaks for her like, "Oh well, she's not gonna renounce her inheritance, whatever." Blah 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 blah. He's like, Everybody's like what? he's what? like what? really what? mad at this point. He's yeah, like yeah. going off like mm-hmm. he's she didn't do anything wrong. You've all oh, been yeah. you're all asses animals to, him, sure. to yeah. her and like all that stuff, and like storms off with her. Yeah. Then uh, I think he shows her the mm-hmm. actual form. Yeah, and then they go and they go, or no, he doesn't, because they go into the library. Yeah, and, he's and they like, do like uh, he whispers in Lieutenant Elliot's here. Hey, can you put, bring in to because the camera you don't see yeah. until it's revealed in a couple minutes after he does a little bit of explaining. Chris Evans' character walks in. Uh, I don't. And you even you still don't even think that it necessarily was him because they had already pulled him yeah. for questioning. Early. And it was. It was so sorry to cut you off, but yeah, it was no, so not. great I'm how they did this. <laughs> and <laughs> instead of just being like, like the detective sees it, like, oh, you didn't do it. Okay, well then that means that this person he like processed in his mind, mm-hmm. and then he took them both in for interviews and just laid it all out on the table oh, and yeah. like went through every little pe- bit and bit piece of information. Of information. And it played out the sequence, uh, yeah. like on the movie, that's, yeah, that's on the screen, and it was just like, all of it happening. and it wasn't just like, oh okay, and then it's not you, so you're fine. But it was just like, it was so drawn out. Mm-hmm. And, and then there was the thing with like the phone call with the hospital. Yeah, the housemaid yeah, died. The hospital calls and says that she's gonna make it, and then he admits like, oh, I'll get arson for the building and blah 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 with my good lawyers. I'll be out in no time, and then I'm gonna wreak hell on your life. You stupid. 
and then she just pukes in his face. Because she and lied. And they all realize, and she's like, I was lying. Fran's dead. And then he's, he, it's, it was such a and cool moment. the detective moment. comes out, like, with his phone, because he recorded everything, yeah, so yeah, they yeah. have oh, ransom like, voice memos. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and there was, like, there was one thing earlier, they were like, in for a penny, in for a pound, and he just goes, in for a penny, grabs a knife and tries to stab um, her. They're on the ground. Also, wait, wait, hold on, before you get there. Yeah. Um, throughout the movie, uh, there's also shown the trailers, there's just... There's a seat, and then behind it, there's a big metal yeah. like oh, circle yeah. like a throne with just of knives. millions knives of knives everywhere. on it, like just all different types of knives. It was shown throughout the movie. Uh-huh. It was shown in the trailers. Like that was that's that's what do you think of knives out? That's what you think of a oh, big yeah. old like Definitely. metal wheel with just a bunch of knives on. So this is mm-hmm. an entire wall, of probably a hundred plus knives. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then yeah. now I'll let you get and back it was, to. It was really funny though because and he grabs was, one of the knives from that when, wall. When Daniel Craig was explaining it, he was sitting there. Literally, all the knives were pointing at him. Yeah, that so was such a like, good oh, shot. You think, oh, oh, that was really such a good be, shot. It's gonna be him. He did it or something. Like the detective did it. Mm-hmm. Uh, all the knives are pointing at him, which was re- it looked really cool because it yeah. was like and just enough space for a head to be there. Yeah, so that's yeah. that's where they did yeah. all the interviews as well because uh-huh. it was a big metal circle and then a, a, yeah. it was like a dome. There was a little circle in the center, mm-hmm. and then so you, the chair was in the middle. So yeah. all the knives were pointing right at the person's yeah. head, whoever was sitting in that chair. Yeah. So they like they reveal like that they were recording everything, and he's just admitted to killing her. Yeah. Even though, so, basically, he ends up getting put away not on charges of killing the person that you think going into the movie but just someone completely different. So he just goes, well, in for a penny, grabs the knife, and it's like like super Out of the wall like, of knives, of by the, the whole, way. The whole, yeah, off like the knife shelf thing. And knife like, wheel. Super slow-mo yeah. sequence, like, oh, no, like putting their hands up. They, they're on the ground. The knife's like in her chest, and he pulls it up, and it's like a stage prop knife. That, like, yeah, it's like, like a, the, the retractable handle. spring knife. Because there was a joke earlier in the movie uh, where Harlan made, like, oh, I'm getting so old, I can't even tell the difference between a real knife and a stage prop. And oh, he ended up having the stage prop I didn't even know I didn't even connect he, that. Harlan had a real knife in the beginning, and he, like, puts yeah. it into the cushion or whatever. Yeah. And he's like, I can't tell the difference between a real knife and a stage prop. And then he's got the stage prop knife. He's got knife the stage the prop end. knife, yeah. And he's just sitting there, like, That's coated right. in puke with the fake knife. He's just... And he like, Shit. he like, and then they put, they put him, they away. tackle him off. Yeah. And he like plays with it like, like to like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He puts it like, in, and he takes it out, looks at, it, and then just like pokes her and twice he, like, and the, goes, yeah. shit. The, uh, like the springs yeah. like creaking like yeah. as he does it, and he's like, well, shit. <laughs> well, shit. <laughs> and then and he it was gets, just like, like and then he gets taken away. Literally, an entire yeah. wall of knives, and uh-huh. and he that was the one. that was the only like switchblade one that could be a fake uh-huh. knife. Like all of them were like swords and like. The mm-hmm. one knife he picks is the fake knife uh, out of a literal wheel of probably a hundred plus oh, knives. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I yeah, uh, it was. And then you've got the like slow mo sequence of everybody, like uh, realizing what's that she's like, about to get they're murdered, all, like, and they're like there, and then he's like getting marched away in the background, which I always think oh, is cool, like people getting this... marched away to prison yeah. in slow motion. Oh, and then there was the thing with like Linda and her yeah. husband. Uh, oh yeah, Har Harlem Harlem Harlan. Harlan. Har- with an N. Yeah. Harlan um, uh, writes like a letter because he knows. This is that- earlier in the movie. The, yeah. yeah, this was when, um, this was during the party. He brought ev- uh, Harlan brought everyone in, and uh, talked to him. And so he had different things like so some people they got taken out of the will like he told uh, ransom, ransom that and he told different people different things and now you can go into he what told he said to Linda's husband, Richard that Richard that uh. He Who knows. I thought was the murderer, by the way, yeah. at the beginning of the movie. Mm-hmm. I I, I kind of suspected him too, because he seemed kind of yeah. murder murderous type thing. Uh, he just looked wacky. Well, but he wasn't. I don't think he was. He married into the family. I think. Oh yeah, because he yeah. married yeah. Linda. Linda was yeah. the daughter. He married in. He married in. But uh, Harlan told Richard They're that he knew that. Richard was cheating on Linda mm-hmm. with like he another woman, and he had pictures and stuff, and he wrote a letter to Linda, but the thing is that the letter, like, seemed blank, but Linda knew that, like, yeah. she took fire to the back so, of it and uh, revealed the letter. So, he played these games with Linda for a long time before he died where he would give her letters in invisible, written in invisible ink. Mm-hmm. He, she had, like, a drawer of them. Yeah. Yeah. And so, originally... Sorry to cut you off. Um, so, originally, when, uh, like, it, he just showed the envelope when he was telling Richard about this, mm-hmm. he just kind of shook the envelope... And so you didn't see the letter at all. But then later, 
about halfway through the movie after one of his interviews where they brought that up and he lied mm-hmm. about it. Um, Richard did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He went and looked at the letter and it was just blank. And he was mm-hmm. like, oh, he's just messing with yeah. me. But and then Linda, it comes back to Linda this thing. found it in the end, and she takes her her lighter to it, and you're like, oh. And, and it reveals line. that Richard is cheating yeah. on you with and this so-and-so. And then he so-and-so. sees her with it, and he's like, oh, shit. And then, like, there's, like, the shot of, like, Ransom getting taken away, and it cuts back to Richard, and he has, like, a black eye or, yeah. like, something. Because she yeah. literally yeah, like, got she punched in the head. Yeah. Because there's the all eye. that yeah. drama now that it's not shown during the movie. But... And then after yeah. that, that was the shot of... Uh, Definitely. Of Marta. Marta yeah. on the balcony with her mug. With the mug that says my house. Yeah. I don't think she there was a post credit scene. We didn't stay long enough. Yeah. I don't this think isn't the kind was. of movie that I think is going to have one. No, no I definitely it's not. It's going to have a sequel. You, it's hard, but, hard to do a sequel. To yeah. Movie. Such a good movie. So like, literally, good. Ev- from the shots to just the plot. Yeah. This Definitely. The plot was so intricate. I like, really it, loved it was, the development of oh, everything. Yeah, and the, the, the character development and how. How when under pressure or like mm-hmm. um, un- under pressure versus not being under pressure, how the characters changed, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and it was just like they showed their their real side, and then when yeah. they didn't get the money, they all started like freaking out. And yeah, they all be yeah. such animals. a good movie. Yeah. yeah, it was really really well done. The cast was oh, yeah. absolutely amazing. For sure, just everything was perfect. Yeah. I think. So we want to get into our our ratings? yeah. Let's rate this. I'll go last. Okay. Yes. Am I going? You want? Do you want to go? All right. Sure. I gotta think of mine. Um. To be honest, I'm gonna get like a nine point five out of ten, just cause the trailers showed a little oh, more yeah. to ransom. Yeah. Than I thought they yeah. needed to, but other if if the trailers didn't show a lot mm-hmm. of ransom being like sus and they stuff didn't like show that. Too much. They just showed the one clip where he co- tells he everyone like, to eat shit. And yeah. then there was one where he leans in, he leans into Marta tell to me tell me what happened to my grandfather. grandfather. That, like, de- yeah. the delivery of that line's kind of sus, so yeah. it kind of, yeah. like, yeah. sets him up. It seems aggressive. Yeah. Yeah, so that, that's the only reason I mm-hmm. lose half a point. But yeah. other than that, it was perfect. Okay, so this I'm going to have to think. Because I said Joker's my number one movie of all, all right, time well, as of right now. Think. No, no, I, I got it. So Joker's my number one movie out of all time, so... Uh, as of right now, this movie was definitely up there for me. Uh, compiling all the shots together, all the just the character development, the story, and just knowing how hard it is to write such an in- integral story like that. Because oh, we yeah. tried that in our class, and just oh, yeah. well, we it didn't, didn't. It didn't work out too. No, we it didn't work out whatsoever. Not necessarily <laughs> from writing standpoint, just we didn't. Just get a shot yeah, time wise, and know. just I mean, it was just kind of generally. Yeah. So, stuff. oh man, I don't know. I will give this movie. I'd say. I don't know. Uh, I want to. It's either like nine or ten, because I'm just I'm just trying to think of the no, no point something Joker. I'm trying to think of because Joker's obviously ten out of ten for me, but I'm trying to think. It was. The things that were in Joker, and then this, and I'm just like with him mm-hmm. dancing, and then just everything, <laughs> everything. Like there were so mm-hmm. many integral yeah, yeah, shots yeah. in both. Uh huh. I, I'd, I'd say I'd say like nine out of ten for this movie. Nine, nine out of ten, or ten out of ten. All right, I think I, I was super. I was like so excited. This was yeah. probably my second most anticipated movie of 2019. Obviously, second to Avengers Endgame. Cause mm-hmm. it's yeah, it's Avengers Endgame. Like. Uh, but it, it it fully lived up to what I was expecting. It was yeah. better than I expected. It was it was so good. Like I haven't enjoyed a movie that much in quite a long time. Yeah. Like yeah. I'm gonna give it a ten out of ten. I mm-hmm. there. I don't think there were. Yeah. I. No movie is gonna be perfect, perfect. Like there's yeah. gonna be some things that Obviously. I don't that are always wrong in like... every movie. But I mean, overall, just, it was su- it was such an enjoyable movie. And usually, I would think murder mysteries wouldn't be super rewatchable. But I mean, oh, this totally. One, I went, to, it's see, totally I went to see it again the night after I saw it the first time, and it was just as good the second time. There's, so mm-hmm. the first time you watch it, there's little things that you'll miss. Yeah, uh, occasionally. So, uh-huh. it's one of those second type of movies. Oh yeah, second it, time yeah. you'll Definitely. see those little hints and yeah. And mm-hmm. stuff like that. It so. was yeah. so good, though. Like, 
it's it's in my probably top three movies. I'd say that's, pro- like, that's probably second to Joker for I me. I think I don't know. I just I don't even know what my favorite movie is. Probably Mission Impossible Fallout. Mm-hmm. That just was purely a good because one. I've watched it so many times. I think honestly, I think I think this ties Mission Impossible Fallout for me. Mm-hmm. It's wow. I can tell already it's going to be super rewatchable for me. Yeah. And yeah. it's just, mm-hmm. it's such an enjoyable movie. It's very different from Mission Impossible Fallout, but it's different in the right ways, yeah. and it's still really enjoyable for me. Yeah, I think this landed in my second spot for the same reason that it landed in your, like, first or first or 10 out of 10th spot, whatever that is. Because um, I was so much more excited for Joker. <coughs> like, obviously, I wanted to see this movie, but Joker, yeah, yeah. I was like, I was oh, yeah. so ready to mm-hmm. see it. And Joker, I came home, and Joker, I was like, that I was... was like, I was like, I felt like I was going to get bored during Joker, to be honest. That's fair. There and were some I points. Did, like, no, not during the movie. Oh, Before you, the movie, oh, you, I, felt okay, like, felt I, like... I felt like I was going to not be super in love with it. Because, yeah. Just because it's it's different and I didn't really know what to expect. But Joker blew my expectations away. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I still think, I still just, I just enjoyed this movie more. Like, purely from an entertainment factor. Yeah. Yeah. But I feel like it's, I'm yeah. kind of biased because I was more excited for Joker. Yeah, definitely. But, uh. You know, I mean, this definitely hits my number two, yeah. or maybe even my yeah, number no. one if I watch it more times and yeah. I pick up more things. As soon but... as I saw the first trailer for this movie, I was like, I have to see that. Yeah. Every time a trailer in theaters, dude, I'm so excited for that movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. So I think that's going to wrap it up for today's episode. Also, uh, mm-hmm. next week, uh, or I guess, are we doing a podcast next week? Because we're going on break. We're, we're going on break, I, oh, we'll we're, be back. Yeah, we'll, we'll be yeah, back. Yeah, this episode yeah. will be up Friday. And okay, break, yeah. We, we're going, we'll on, a, back we're going on a break for a week. So, yeah. um, episode is normal next week. Uh, so next week, obviously Luke will have seen this movie, so yeah. we'll have him give his his rating yeah. his rating for it. We won't do like a whole other yeah, review. Definitely. But we'll – and if he wants to say a couple <coughs> things about it. A couple things that he And then we'll get, he'll like get that. his rating. Yep. And I don't know if we have any movies for next week. I think it's just going to be – next week, Frozen. Just a random – Let's go Frozen Frozen 2. (laughs) Frozen 2? Oh, I mean, the comments want it, so we'll we'll see. We might watch Frozen 2. Um, uh, But uh, quickly before we end this podcast, uh, I just want to give a quick shout-out to our last uh, episode that we made. Um, uh, We ran a poll uh, probably about like halfway through the video or so. Um, if you guys prefer the more professional or the yeah, more if uh, mm-hmm. more if yes. you want scuffed or more professional podcasts, we ran a poll. So go vote on that. It'll be uh, yeah, in a little like circle at the top right. The I thing. It's yeah. in, like time codes like eighteen, nineteen minutes, somewhere around there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, so yeah. So and, yeah, go check that out. Definitely. And uh, drop a vote, leave a comment, whatever. Uh, it's the episode eight. They're watching something outside. Educated. It's very loud. Sorry yeah. if you guys can hear that. Yeah. So uh, episode eight, just go watch that. Yeah. And vote on our poll. So I think that's yeah. gonna wrap it up for that's, today's that podcast. That is. Yeah. That's it. It's been real talk. Thank you so much for listening. Yeah. We love you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.